Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to MIG Monday. This episode, we're going to kind of continue doing some experiments that we were started in previous episode of what the difference is between amps and voltage. And when somebody says, this is going to be your wire feed speed, this is going to be your voltage, what happens if you independently change the voltage or independently change the wire feed speed? What does that do to your weld? Uh, the other day, we did a voltage demonstration where we, saw, uh, where we learned that you know, voltage primarily changes the shape of the weld bead from narrow to wider. Uh, we're going to continue that today by changing wire feed speed uh, from the set point higher and lower to see what happens. Wire feed speed generally, that's amperage, and generally the biggest effect that wire feed speed has on a weld is penetration. So besides showing you the difference in, in uh, bead profiles uh, by adding or subtracting wire feed speed, we're also going to do a cut and etch uh, when they're all done so you can see the depth of penetration uh, for the various wire feed speeds. And you see what, what changing things uh, actually does when you change wire feed speed. Uh, just like before, what I've done is I've gone into the machine. I'm going to, it's a piece of 3 16th material. I went inside this machine in the, in the doorway and looked at their chart where they give you a approximate starting point for that. And according to their chart, it's 271 inches per minute and 19 volts. So my first weld is going to be at the recommended setting. Now remember, the key word there is recommended. You can always vary a little bit here or this way or that way to get bead sound or shape or, or uh, you know, a, a bead profile that you like for your application. Anyway, once I do that weld, since I'm going to make all three welds on this one piece uh, to keep it even, uh, I'm going to quench each one when I'm done. I'm going to just dip it in water so the, the plate stays at the same temperature for each weld. Because if I just did a repetitive weld on here, the thing would get so hot that you really wouldn't be able to make a fair comparison. So after each weld, I'm going to quench it. And what we're going to do is going to go uh, a weld at the recommended setting. And then we're going to go down 100 inches a minute and make a weld. And then we're going to go above the recommended setting by 100 inches a minute and make a weld. And then do that comparison. So that, that uh, we should see a, quite a bit of difference with that kind of a change in wire feed speed. So. With no further ado, let's start welding. All right, we made our first weld at the recommended settings. I've taken it and I've quenched it to get the plate back down to the same temperature for all the welds. Uh, and I've reduced the wire feed speed on this machine now by 100 inches a minute. And we're gonna make a second weld and take a look at how that, how that turns out. All right, but here we go. Okay, all right, now this is 100 inches per minute less, and you can see that the weld bead, forget about penetration for a minute, just look at the weld bead, uh, you can see that's it's definitely narrower than our proceeding, the proceeding weld. Now, one thing that can be a variable is travel speed. Uh, I'm attempting to travel, you know, because I'm not mechanized, uh, so my travel speed might vary a little bit, but I'm attempting to maintain the same travel speed with all three welds so that we can really compare uh, apples and apples. So uh, let me go quench this one and then we'll make our third and final weld on this issue. All right, well, we've got our first two welds done. We're about to make the third. And what I've done now is I've turned the wire feed speed up to 100 inches a minute above the recommended setting uh, on the machine chart. And so we're gonna make that weld and then it'll be ready for uh, to be cut and etched so we can see if there's penetration uh, profile differences as well as uh, bead differences that you can visually see when I'm, as soon as I'm done welding. All right, here we go. There you can see right away how much more wire is 
put down because how much of a bigger bead that is. So let me go quench that and uh, we'll wire brush it up and then we'll get a better look at the differences on these two, on these three bead profiles. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, we've got our sample back from being etched. Uh, what I have here that, uh, is the sample after it's been cut in half. This is just the cut to show you really can't see much in, in terms of penetration and everything. The, what they do when they, when you, uh, to show the penetration, you kind of have to polish it and then put an acid solution on there to etch into it. Um, and that's what we've done here. Now, if you recall, these were our three welds we changed amperage. Uh, the first weld right here was the machine recommended settings from the chart inside the machine. The next one was 100 inches per minute less than this recommended. And this third one was 100 inches a minute more. And as you can see by the penetration profiles here, here you have, a, a, you have decent penetration here uh, with the reduced wire feed speed and hence less amperage, you have less penetration. And on the third one with the higher amperage and the higher wire feed speed, you've got much deeper uh, penetration. So uh, that's kind of what happens with wire feed speed. It, it controls penetration and, and heat input. Now, you know, and the amount of wire that you're putting down, uh, and I think I mentioned earlier, you know, uh, you can go nuts by turning the wire feed speed up so much you're just piling all kinds of weld metal on top of where it doesn't affect the strength. In fact, it ends up just being counterproductive because you're just wasting your money. So you basically, you try to find a happy medium where you get the penetration you need uh, with, the, with the proper bead profile. So hopefully you kind of picked up on that. And thanks for watching MIG Monday, and we'll catch you next time around. Take care. Well, if you learned something today or like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe and keep an eye out for new episodes every MIG Monday.